Well, it was a good win uh, against a good team. You know, that uh, to me, Mississippi State, it's like a second round NCAA tournament game. Um, um, and that's why I told our guys, I was concerned of the gauntlet of, you know, Alabama and Kentucky and South Carolina and that Tennessee and Georgia and then and, and then playing what I thought was the you know still do set up probably the third best team that we've had in here and I thought the fact that we played well early shot it well early and the fact that we were able to turn them over ten times uh, and get them to run their offense way out away from where their comfort zone was made it, made it harder for them to get the ball into their deep touches. Um, you know, they still out-rebounded us um, and, um, you know, still, you know, again, not kind of dominated on the boards. Um, last thing is just great balance from Auburn. Again, our strength is our 11. Um, I don't have anything on Lior yet. We'll get that to you tomorrow. But, uh, man, he's been playing, playing, playing really well. I'm just so disappointed for him because he knew that we were very committed to him being in the rotation for the rest of the year. And um, so I'm, uh, I'm a little down about that. Great crowd tonight. Um, our, our Auburn family showed up. Um, I think they like this team, and I hope we get a great crowd in here for our last game, senior night, against Georgia. Hey, BP, you talked about kind of wondering about energy and effort after the Tennessee loss, sort of where they'd be. They came out pretty strong. Chris Jans was in here saying, he hasn't really had to tell his team many times this season that they've been outplayed in the beginning. Like you guys kind of took the fight to them and he hasn't had to say that to his team. How, I guess, how pleased with, with, with what you saw? Man, I was pleased. Um, you know, Chris Chan is one of the best. It's funny, I call him one of the best young coaches in the country and um, he's not young. He's been doing it a long time. He's just younger than me, right? But he's a great coach. Um, his teams play hard, they play physically. Um, he's doing some really good things offensively. Hard to guard. Obviously, Hubbard is spe special, special, special. Matthews is a beast and a tough matchup. And Tolu is obviously uh, one of the better inside players in, 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 in the country. Um, so they've got some pieces. They're athletic. Um, but not often do teams, can they fly around with them a little bit? And I thought early, I thought there were times when, when we did. When we, I thought Cheney Johnson was huge in the first half, just, you know, when I have Cheney Johnson and Jalen Williams to be able to play Matthews, when I have Dylan Cardwell and Jani Broom to be able to play Tolu. I thought Denver Jones was terrific tonight. I thought Denver, his defense, um, and Hubbard got a, he got loose a couple times, but Denver Jones guarded tonight. He made plays. Um, he turned the ball over a little bit, um, but, he had 16. He missed a couple layups. He could have, should have been in the 20s. Um, Trey with four, with four assists and no turnovers, actually six and zero. That's really strong. Again, Trey has always kind of liked that second unit, and played better with that second unit. And he and Dylan Carwell are, are, are kind of fun to have on the floor together at the same time. Bruce, you guys have hit. 40% or more of your threes for three straight games. It's the first time you have done that since 2017. Just you, you talked about the importance of knocking out shots this close. Just how, how pleased are you with your team's response in that area, especially coming off that Kentucky yeah. loss? Well, I think I think uh, think about us. Think about our our conversations about this team uh, this summer on the heels of last year's team that didn't shoot it very well, and we all thought this was a good shooting team. We all did, and. Um, my emphasis to the guys right now, it's March. It's March. And it's time to, you know, make shots, not take shots. And the uh, guy's been putting in the work. And um, that's what it takes to win. Bruce, you mentioned you know, how well Janey played there in the first half. Did you kind of see him, where did you, I guess you kind of see him evolve maybe a little bit? with that larger opportunity when, when Jalen wasn't available? And how good was it to have Jalen back in the starting lineup? Well, it was great on both. You know, I, got, I thought we got great play, you know, out of the position um, in the sense that if you look at, I think we got double figures from both of them, right? And so the four spot was really productive tonight. Um, and we get different when Cheney's in the game 
uh, kind of like Dylan when John Eyes in the game, but we don't get worse. That's a real key. We get different. Um, Cheney can do a lot of things that y'all haven't seen yet. And and he will probably more so next year, but he's got a lot of he got a lot of tricks in his bag. He's got a lot of game. You mentioned Trey. I don't think he had made a shot before today since the South Carolina game. Six assists, no turnover. Seemed like he was really aggressive. How much better does that make you guys when he's able to push with that second unit? It makes us. It obviously makes us better. And 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 um, I like him out there playing with confidence and freedom and accountability. It's hard, you know. It's just it's hard when you're only playing half the game to to you know get a rhythm. It is. It's hard for both Aiden and Trey because right now they're both playing half the game, and so. But they'll play in four-minute segments, and um, um, I thought they did it both. I thought they both did a good job of taking care of the ball. You know, Trey especially was 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 effective passing the ball. Um, and look, Aiden draws a lot of coverage too, and a lot of game plan for him. And so they 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 don't let Aiden get open looks because they know what a great shooter he is. Bruce, with, with uh, Jalen in the starting lineup, that's the first time you guys have used that starting lineup this year and it got off to a really good start. I um, have to imagine that's exactly what you wanted uh, out of that crew, putting them together for, for the first time today. Yeah, no, it was good. Um, you, you don't have as much firepower coming off the bench, but I think um, I think it's especially important in, 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 in tournament play and, and on the road. you got to get off to good starts on the road. I think that's one thing that Coach Chan's new is – Man, it's hard to win on the road, but you usually don't win on the road if you don't start well. Any more questions for Greg? Yeah. Yeah, one more. Good. Yeah, good. Come on. You're good. Sorry. All right, fine. Mississippi State in the last meeting, they, they shot really well in the second half, and you were able to really uh, do a great job limiting them early on. Were there some specific keys you were able to really get around their ball screens, just do a really good job, uh, especially on, on Josh and Tolu early, in the, early on in that game? Yeah, I mean, again, the fact that I've got bodies like both Dylan and Janai, you know, so you got two bodies that, that, that can front him and, and um, kind of keep him off balance. And we do everything we can to try to limit his touches. That's the biggest thing. You just got to try to – Limit his touches. Um, I thought Mississippi State played much better offensively in the second half. Didn't turn it over. Shot a good percentage. And uh, so they're going to be right there. <laughs>